not something you'll hear often here, but we're doing Tiki today. Aloha, friends of cocktails. No matter what's your favorite cocktail, when you find yourself on a vacation standing on a beach with sand between your toes, nobody's turning it on a Tiki cocktail. So we're making the Blue Hawaii today. But we'll make it two ways. Can we make this blue tropical cocktail in a way that could be served at high-end cocktail bars? We'll give it a try. First I'll make the original from 1957, followed by my inverted version that stops with blue foam. And we'll finish it off with a little interesting fact. But let's start this cocktail time. The Blue Hawaii was created in 1957 in Waikiki, Hawaii, by Harry Yee, the head bartender of the Kaiser Hawaiian village, which later became the Hilton. The inspiration for this drink came with a sales representative from Bulls, a Dutch distiller, as key to design a cocktail showcasing the blue color of their Curacao liqueur. So after starting with 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml each of white rum and vodka, I'm also adding half an ounce or 50 ml of blue Curacao. Not the same brand, that's okay. For that nice tropical feel, we of course need pineapple, which we juiced at the start, 3 ounces or 90 ml. And while some original recipes would often use a pre-made sour mix, I'm going in with half an ounce or 50 ml of lime juice, followed by quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of cane sugar syrup. The name Blue Hawaii isn't from the Elvis Presley movie, which came out 4 years after the cocktail was created, but from a song in the 1937, being crossed with a film called Waikiki Wedding. Strain the cocktail over fresh ice in a hurricane glass, and garnish with a pineapple wedge, a cocktail cherry and a tiny umbrella. If you ask me, the tiny cocktail umbrella is a bit more than I usually go for with my minimalistic approach. However, with the blue greenish color and the tropical theme, it doesn't look wrong here. Let's give it a try. That's the lovely foam we got from shaking the pineapple. The aroma reveals notes of orange and pineapple, while vodka provides a solid backbone to the drink. It's not exactly my style, but it's a well-balanced and undeniably intriguing cocktail. This drink is not to be confused with the Blue Hawaiian, which uses cream of coconut and no vodka or simple syrup. That was probably created by Don the Beachcomber as a reef on the Blue Hawaii to basically make a blue pina colada. If you've seen other videos from this channel, you know that I don't often make tropical cocktails, but every now and then I really enjoy a drink like this, especially with the summer months finally here. Also, thank you for coming back for a cocktail video every week. Make sure you subscribe as we move on to our signature version of this drink. Cheers! I'll make the inverted Blue Hawaii in two layers. The bottom layer will be a milk washed cocktail without the blue color, and on top, We'll have the blue foam with orange. Oh, and a little saline solution, of course. We'll get everything you need to make the milk wash cocktail, but I'll first show you how to make the blue foam. Before we move on to making the foam, I owe you an apology and a thank you. In the last inverted cocktail episode, where I made the mint foam for the inverted mojito, the process turned out to be time consuming and impractical. After speaking with some bartenders, I discovered that it's possible to make foam with methyl cellulose entirely in a blender, without the need to hydrate the methyl cellulose in hot water beforehand. To quote Alanis Morissette, you live, you learn. And I'm constantly learning as well. Much of that comes from you, as you share your experience in comments of various platforms. For that, I thank you. Now let's make this blue foam. To make it, you'll need water, Pontro, methyl cellulose, xanthan gum, orange blossom water, saline solution, citric acid and blue spirulina. You could use blue curacao, but this will give it a more intense blue color. As mentioned, we'll place everything in the blender, starting with the liquid ingredients, 120 grams or 4 ounces of water, followed by 30 ml or 1 ounce of control. Next, 0.9 grams of methyl cellulose. We've of course used this to make the super syrup, using it to replace the egg whites in sour cocktails, together with 0.25 grams of xanthan gum. We'll have a stable foam with a beautiful texture. Then add 0.2 grams of orange blossom water and 10 drops of saline solution. This will enhance all flavors, especially the orange and floral notes. To balance the flavors, 0.3 grams of citric acid. And lastly, for a bright blue color, 0.4 gram of blue spirulina. We've used this for the blue gin and tonic as well. Then blend everything for at least 20 to 30 seconds. Transfer into a cream whipper and charge it with the nitrous oxide cartridge. Give it a good shake and place it in the fridge to chill. Use up the foam within 3 days, and the best way is to place it on top of our milk washed Blue Hawaii cocktail. Here's what you need to make it. The base spirits will be different, split between cachaça and gin. I'll be using the citrusy Citadel Jardin Diet. To the combination of lime and pineapple juices, we'll also add some pineapple Olaf Sacrum, which will bring us the desired sweetness and more pineapple flavor. And we'll need milk for milk washing, that will not only make the clarification possible, but it will also add a wonderful texture to our cocktail. But let's start with making the pineapple Olaf Sacrum. I'll take the pineapple peels from the beginning of the episode, add lime peels and sugar and wait. You could use a sous vide bag for this, but the mason jar works perfectly fine. Add 200 grams of pineapple peels, 
which you should get from a medium sized pineapple. Next, 12 grams of lime peels. One lime was enough for me, but it can depend on your lime and your peeling. Make some space and cover the peels with 250 grams of gold cane sugar. This is minimally refined sugar, made from cane juice, and it retains a hint of molasses, resulting in a beautiful golden color. Model the sugar and the peels to kickstart the process of the sugar extracting the oils and flavors from the peels. Then leave it to sit for 48 hours for sugar to dissolve. Once that's done, you have your pineapple olive sacrum. You just need to strain out the solids before bottling. This can be used as a sweetener to make a tropical twist on almost any classic cocktail, like the daiquiri, pisco sour or even the old-fashioned. Don't forget the label and you're good to go. An alternative to making olive sacrum is to use Slyber Co's pineapple gum syrup. You might need to adjust the recipe, but with 60% of their syrup coming from the juice of ripe, cold-pressed pineapples, you know you're getting plenty of tropical flavor in this, and it has the aroma and flavor of a bright, acidic pineapple with pure cane sugar. All-natural gum arabic will give your tiki cocktails a unique richness and viscosity. But with our olive sacrum done, we're ready to build and milk wash the bottom part of our cocktail. Into a jug, add equal amounts. 2 ounces or 60 ml of cachaça and your pick of citrusy gin. Cachaça is the grassier cousin of white rum and gin is an elevated version of vodka, so I think we're still in the ballpark of the original here. Our gin will also give it some citrus notes in place of curacao. 3 ounces or 90 ml of pineapple juice, freshly juiced to start off the episode. Follow that with lime juice, 1.5 ounce or 45 ml. For sweetness, add some more pineapple goodness. 1 ounce or 30 ml of pineapple olive sacrum. Olive sacrum is Latin for oil sugar and has been an essential ingredient in punch cocktails for centuries. Stir everything to mix the ingredients, then into a separate container, add 2.5 ounce or 75 ml of warm milk. That's roughly a ratio of 4 to 1 in favor of cocktail versus milk. Pour the cocktail into the milk, not the other way around. Stir and leave it to sit for 20 minutes. Thanks to the acidity from the lime and pineapple, we are breaking the milk into curds and whey. We will strain the curds with the help of a coffee filter, clarifying the cocktail in the process. The protein in the resulting great cocktail blend will give us a rich texture even without the cocktail being shaken. Once you see clear liquid coming through, transfer the coffee filter and refilter that first part. To speed up the shooting of the episode, I'll just bottle this part and let the rest slowly filter on. Then bottle, label and place it in the fridge. As with all milk washed cocktails, it has a considerably prolonged shelf life, with some sources claiming these cocktails should be good for months, if not years. But there is little chance this will last for long. Let's make the inverted blue Hawaii. There's not a lot of work needed once you get to this point. Add a tempered clear ice block into a tumbler glass and add 3 ounces or 90 ml of our milk washed cocktail. Next, 2 drops of 20% saline solution to enhance the flavors. Then give it a quick stir to chill and dilute. For the final step, top it up with our blue foam. Blue and beautiful, like the Havan Sea. Quick snap for the gram and we're ready to take a sip. Come out. It's citrusy and slightly floral on the aroma. The blue foam enhances the already silky cocktail, which has grassy and citrus notes. The combination of all that with the tropical pineapple makes this a true poetry for your taste buds, just as much as it was the feast for the eyes. Before we reach the bottom of the glass, I have to shout out New Cocktail Time Wall of Fame member, Trevor Harbeard, recently became our top tier patron and joins our set with his very own brick. Cheers Trevor! Welcome to Cocktail Time. We really appreciate the support of every single patron of Cocktail Time to help us make this show. With that, you've made it to the bottom of the glass, where I'll give you a fun fact about today's cocktail and you let me know you made it to the end of the episode by posting the tropical drink emoji in the comments. Did you know that the Blue Hawaii cocktail actually predates Hawaii statehood by two years? Hmm. If you'd like to see my take on another tropical drink, check out the Horchata Pina Colada with scotch and I'll see you next week with another elevated cocktail. Cheers, friends of cocktails.